everybody, Dan Holstein here helping your business take flight. You know, I'm hearing a lot of talk about finishing the year strong, but what does that really mean to you and your unique business situation? Well, this week I want to share with you a three-step process to not only finish the year strong, but kick next year off with accelerated growth. Okay, so we're talking about finishing up the year strong and starting next year off with, with acceleration. So how do we go about doing that? Well, step number one, make sure that you really complete your goals this year. December is a pretty full month. Like it's, I know there's the, the holidays and we lose a week kind of thing, but there's still a lot of time to execute. But sometimes we, I think we, we think, oh, it's gonna be slow or people aren't gonna wanna buy or whatever the case might be, everyone's distracted. Well, some people are for sure, or maybe everybody has a little bit, but that doesn't mean that you're not able to, to hit some good numbers in December. So just be focused, don't be lazy in December, keep that foot on the gas. And I recognize you might be a little bit tired, a little fatigued, it's been a long year. So plan something fun with the team to really celebrate everything that you've accomplished this year. Now, the next thing is we wanna take some time, so number two here is take some time to reflect on the year gone by. Like, how fast did that year go by? I find that the years go by really quick these days. And we wanna take the time to reflect back on how we did, what we learned, the challenges we had, how we learned through those, how we've grown as a person, not uh, you know personally, professionally, how the team has grown, and maybe some areas where we haven't, maybe some areas where we've got some gaps, right? We want to reflect back and say, hey, what kind of kept us a little bit stuck here and there this past year? What do we need to do next year to shore that those areas up so that we can really accelerate? Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to do our our next year planning, you know, in November, December uh, of this year. So be clear on what is that 2022 or whatever year it's going to look like when you see this. What does next year look like to you? Right? What are you going to look back on and say, gosh, I'm so excited we accomplished X this year. What is that X? What is that thing that you really are driving towards? Your, you know, your, your major rock, your major goal for the year. So we want to do that planning and thinking now and then breaking it down into quarterly planning. So you know, by, if we're going to hit X target by one year in, where do we need to be by the end of Q1? of next year, right? And plan for that. What are the resources that we might need? Do we need to be recruiting and hiring f for some people? Do we need to upgrade some system or install an ERP? Or what is it we need to do to be on track to hit those goals? And we wanna go into the, the holiday season with that plan in place, because our mind can go to work on it, our subconscious, right? It's gonna find opportunities to help us achieve what we need to achieve. So again, three-step process. Number one, don't get lazy in December. Keep that foot on the gas. Take some time to reflect on the year gone by, get the learnings, right? Study your own history, get those learnings. And number three, do some planning for next year. This year, well, you've got time to work out the plan and organize yourself and set yourself up for success come January. If you need any help at all with your planning, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always happy to have a chat. And in the meantime, if uh, we're not already connected on LinkedIn, please connect with me, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you're seeing this on YouTube. And I hope that you have a fantastic end of the year and a really great start to next year. Catch you soon.